Hey guys, Lex here with yet another fragrance video. So yeah, today's going to be the usual routine, back to back, I'll do one scent and do another scent after that. So first up, I'm going to be covering the Calvin Klein house. Now, I've been mentioning this a lot in my top five videos. This is CK1 Shop for Him by Calvin Klein. This was released in 2011. And yeah, this is probably one of the better releases from Gavin Klein. Some call it the best from the house. I still think Obsession is the best one from the house. That's just me. Each to the own. This one's been... I've been giving this a lot of talk. I mentioned it, you know, in my uh, top five cents for teens. I also mentioned it in my top five, you know, um, was it cheap cents as well. Because it is um, pretty cheap. So uh, yeah, this one costs... This one cost me £33 it was for the 100 mils. And it was a gift set, so I got a uh, shower gel with it. It was a shower gel thing. It was like you could use it in your hair as well. It was nice. So um, yeah, let's get started. Let's talk about the bottle. Now, this one is quite a cool bottle. If you look here. Some people call it tacky. I quite like it. It's your classic CK1 bottle. CK1 shot for him, carving clean. Information on the bottom, nothing on the back. And your spray on the top doesn't have a cap. One thing about this is, when you first get this, you'll open the box and you'll be like, what the fuck? Now one thing that got me is I always always see the pictures where they have the, the screw on the bottom and what how does it spray? Well this one's actually a splasher spray and um, if we can get this lid off yeah. If you see here, it comes off and you put in the atomizer yourself. I don't really like to take it out for so long so I know that uh, oxygen is not exactly good for scents. So yeah, you take it off so you can use a splasher spray if you want. So let's talk about um the sprayer. So look here, if you look here. It's not the best spray in the world to be fair. It's not bad, but um, like for example, three sprays of this is the equivalent to say one spray of Creed or Tributy. You know, a Jacques Bogart, you know, Silver Scent Intense, that's a real That This one's a really light spray, so you need to spray maybe double sprays to get the same performance in my opinion. But right off the bat with this one, it goes a real different way. This one's a lot younger. More well, Gourmandy, if you know what I mean. It's very out there, it's a very sort of sort of dark, not chocolatey, but has a sort of gourmand sweetness to it, you know, that young sweetness to it. Now this one's one of these varied scents, a lot of people say they get beast mode with it, other people say they don't. With me, I get not bad projection, I mean this I would say lasts about 8 hours to 10 hours on me, around that, and it projects about 3 hours, um, two, it's quite strong for the first hour, dies down a little bit in the second hour, and then hovers about uh, above the skin in the third hour, so it's about um, an arm's length at first and it really dies down to about 6 inches for the second hour and into a sort of hovering above the skin for the third hour. So as far as lasting power goes, this one RP might get beast mode on me, that's just what I get. Skin chemistry, you know, one man's beast mode is another man's skin scent. So but this one is actually not too bad. One thing that does put me off a Calvin Klein house is the fact that they don't last. They smell good but they just don't last. I mean, you wear them to go to the shops by the time you get back, 15 minutes are gone. So that's an obsession, it's real beast mode ones. But right off the bat, it's, it starts to dry down. It's can make almost a bit alcohol at the start, but it is. It's kind of creamy, sweet and dark. I'm trying to think how to describe it. It's like if you ever sniffed pure Havan, Angel Man pure Havan. See that sort of sweetness to it. Imagine a tenth. Imagine pure Havan really toned down to about a tenth or a fifteenth of its smell, and added in here. It's just really, it's like nothing else I've sniffed it. I'm surprised it's even called it. It should have just called this CK Shock. It shouldn't even be called CK One Shock. You need to stop releasing one flankers in my opinion, but this one's great. I've been trying to get my hands on Street Edition as well to try that out. Um, so I have them both and I'll try and get back to you on that one. But this one, I think it's a great smell. The price, this really doesn't, doesn't smell cheap. This smells really, really nice. I really like this one. So I now really talk about like where to wear this. Now for sprays, actually now I talk about sprays. Just but before I move off the subject, um, I would say with this one, I would wear six sprays with this: two in the chest, two a lower neck, two in the back of the neck, and uh, one in each. Uh, you can do you know two, two, one, one, whatever you want now. But um, uh, two to here, two here, and two in the back of the neck, and that should be you. Um, it's not strongest scent. Um, it does it's strong enough to cut through windy days. It will last, but you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. You do need to spray a bit more because the spray is not the most powerful as you've seen. So where to wear this one? I would say this one in particular you can wear at, for a date, this is absolutely perfect. For a date, this one's going to be great. Go easy on the spray. I mean, I'd say for a date, maybe four sprays in this one. Work, I'd say three sprays, maybe four, but three. And you should be fine. 
This one is really nice. You won't have the person you're dating get wafts of this. They're sitting across. I see you having dinner. They're sitting across the table and they're getting nice wafts of it as they eat. Really nice scent. Really, really good for that. Um, and price range, it's really bang for your buck. I mean, age group, this one sort of, you know, you can wear this at 13, you can wear this at 50. You know, it's age group wise, I think this one's fine, really, from um, anyone, really. It's just a really, really nice scent. And for CK, I was really surprised with the sort of quality. I mean, CK I mean, released some serious trash. I mean, if anyone has sniffed CK1 Red, it smells okay, but it just doesn't last. I mean, if it smelled okay and lasted, I would have bought it, but it doesn't last, so I won't buy it. This one does. How can they go from making this awesome scent to making that trash? CK need to understand, people are not buying their scents because their scents do not last. It is not the 90s. No one is going to flock over CK1 anymore. CK1 is sold. You can pick up 20... 100 mils for 20 quid. That shows you know it's sort of, it's not that expensive designer place anymore. It's down, and CK need to realise this. They need to make more sense like this, more lasting sense, or they will not sell. Everybody knows. I mean, I I never. My first CK was obsession. I was amazed how long it last. I would never have touched the CK house. Never last. Bad projection. Longevity is pathetic. That's all I heard of people. So when I got these, this an obsession. I was like, wow. So this is great um, for a date, just because it's just right projection wise and lasting power wise, it's just right. And for work, I can't say anyone hating this scent really, it's quite versatile to me, I think this is quite you know casual. You can wear this just sitting about the house, you're just going down out to get a burger or something or a hot dog, this is great to wear, you know. So for a date, it's good, for work it's good, and for casual it's good. I think it's a really nice scent, really pleasing. And if I closed your eyes and told you, if you closed your eyes and you sniffed this and I said, that's a new Chanel Gourmand, you'd be like, wow, that smells great. If I told you it was CK, you'd be like, get out of here. I kid you not, this is a great scent, do sniff it. You can get everywhere, it's, it, you can have it quite easily, it's um, easily had, the most places sell boots, Debenhams, perfume shop, TG Hughes, anywhere. So um, CK, it's, everywhere sells it, super drug, the lot. So if you see this, do give it a sniff. And if you like it, do pick it up. And um, you can have it, like I said, 33 quid for 100 mils. It's not the cheapest, but it's not a diva style. So yeah, that's CK, uh, CK1 shock for him. Really, really nice scent from the CK house. Quite glad I own it, actually. Really, really nice. Good stuff. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. I know I haven't done a proper fragrances with Lex Else video in a good while. I've been focusing more on my fragrance top five and fragrance verses. I'm also thinking they're starting up a new, a new um, series called House Overview, Fragrance House Overview and basically I pick a house like say for Versace and I take all the fragrances I have in that house and I just talk about them in general, the house in general this fragrance came out here and this is my personal favourite and everybody judges this one so instead of doing one fragrance review it's like a mini review on all the fragrances from that house not full reviews but sort of like first impressions almost like more, a little bit more detailed than first impressions but not enough for a full review and I talk about the entire house and just my thoughts in the house. If I think a particular house is, is bringing out, like Calvin Klein, is bringing out too many scents that aren't lasting, I'll just say that. It's just a sort of, almost a vlog really, what's me telling what I think of the house rather than a full review. So I thought it'd be a different thing to try. And um, yeah, um, hopefully I'll have a video for that up soon. So thank you for watching guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, any questions you have, leave them in the comments, send me a personal message. I'll be happy to answer them, no problem. Um, if you, but me, if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And um, the name of the song and a link to my blog will be in the description below. Um, so yeah, eh, all my videos you can find if you click on my channel and eh, click on playlists and then click fragrances with Lexel. So be listed from the very first to the very latest, so they're easy to find. You can also search me on eh, Google or YouTube, type in Lexels followed by the name of the video. And I should find it no problem. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Keep on smelling fly.